guys, it's me, yeah. Houston Texan Fan123, and guess what? It's Christmas time. So, I'm gonna show you three different things to make for origami. Um, right now, I am, if you're wondering about the unboxing and my reviews, I have some right now, but I'm actually waiting to, um, for Christmas time. I'm waiting for some of my presents to see if I can get stuff to review. So, I need you guys to keep commenting, liking, and subscribing down below. Because that's how I, the only way I can eventually be able to get stuff for free to review for you guys is until I get enough subscribers. So keep watching my videos, liking, commenting, and subscribing. For the first video I want to show, the first thing I want to show you, um, I'm going to show you three different things. Um, right now I first want to say thanks to my younger brother who's right now filming for me. And he also has his channel. He'll be posting videos soon. Not yet though. He's gay man Game manager. What? Game manager. Say it. Game manager. Yeah, that's his name. It's G A M E R. Game. How do you spell it? G A M E M A N G R. Okay, yeah, yeah. Game manager. Like game manager, because it was already taken. But, okay, so I'm showing you three different things on this video. I'm going to show you one a Christmas tree star full origami and you may think oh man I can't make this it's probably gonna be too hard it's not it's simple uh, for you Jewish people out there or even Christians who just want one the star of David and also um, I don't have I can't find my copy of it I am also gonna show you how to make a candy cane which I'll tell you more about the candy cane specifications later but they all will need each one square piece of paper I'm using big papers to show you guys, but they each use one. So come on, let's see the video. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, so here's the first. I'm first going to show you how to do the star. You take the square. And actually, no, let me do the candy cane because that one's easier. But the candy cane, yes, um, I can't show you what it looks like, but it looks pretty cool. And the thing is, if for some of you people who already know origami and have special origami paper, you probably may have this. It's double-sided pa paper, which is two colors. So you could buy red and white, and it's going to be one side would be red, the other side would be right, white. But I'm only using one color right now because that's all I have. I don't have um, double color. So first you take it, and you fold the corners. Up. Since I already have one corner folded, I'm good there. Here's the second corner. You line it up, down, flatten it, and smooth. Use your nail and go down. Now it's a nice crease. Open it up. Okay, first, now you're going to take this angle, this piece, and instead of going full all the way like earlier, we're actually going to go only part, and we want a nice gap so it does a cool two color tone, two tone thing. So let's go about there. That's good. And it'll flatten it. And yes, he'll say, oh my gosh, it's horrible uneven. It should be. It should be a gap on these sides. Like this. Okay. Now first, we take this. And now we're oh, actually sorry, like this. And we're going to do a repeating pattern. And that space you've made is this diameter. So if you want a really big, thick um, pattern between, you fold less. And if you want a skinny pattern, you fold more. But the skinnier it is, the harder it will be to fold. Here's what the size will be, and you take that, you take, since there's already a fold line there from earlier, take it, get a nice fold on it, and there, there's the first piece done. That's the first stripe, and then you just keep going on, second, a third, all the way till you get to the top. And it will get thicker as you go along. Okay. And you keep going longer and longer. So you get to the tip. And in the end, it will look like this. Yes, it's very... The ends are very thin. The center is very thick. Um, some people, I guess, like Harry Potter fans, I guess, tried to tape it and make a wand out of it. And do spells. I don't know much about Harry Potter, but some people do that. Uh, some people make swords out of this style, and they cut like right there 
You make a blade and it looks like a ninja katana. But yeah, you can do that. But this is the candy cane. You take this and you take up here and you fold it like take there. I've made a mark and you go down. It's very stiff. But then you take it and you make it flat, a straight line right here where it folds. You need a straight line. And you take it, tighten it. You can use tape if you would like, because as you can see, for mine it's like messing up right there. But in coming undone, you can tape that down if you would like. I'm not going to tape it down for this. And then you go in and fold there also at a 90 degree angle so it's perpendicular. And there is your candy cane. Uh, as you can see, it will be different color. Like this could, okay. This section right here would be white. Then this would be red. Okay, let's zoom out for a minute. Let's see this so I can get a good grip. Oh, wait, let me just bring it up close. If you can see, there's a line right there. Let me use a blue pen. I'm going to show you the sections. That's one section. That's the second section. Third section, and it'll be colored white, red, white, red, depend if you have the two sided. But some people only have one sided. It still will look pretty cool. It's a still a pretty cool candy cane. Um, if depending on what size you want it, this is a pretty awkward looking one. But if you would like, you could fold it lower down and make it much. It'd be much thicker. The closer to the center you are, the thicker it becomes. And then you could fold it down. And yeah, there you go. And it looks like a candy cane. It's very stiff. It may not fold the first time, but you can get it. And look, you got a candy cane. Also, some people turn it like this. It could be a J, depending on what side you put it on. Or it could be a fish hook. A fake fish hook or something. And that's what it looks like. Next, I think um, I will do... Hmm, I think I'll do the Star of David next. Okay, so here's seven minutes. Okay, I think you guys that we may have to cut this short and do a part two. But let's first do the finish this and do see how far we can get. But I may have to do a part two. So originally, you fold it. it I use a sticky note to make this. Originally, it's just a square piece of paper. You take it and, okay, let me show you on this. You fold it into squares like this. Let's see, that was a bad crease. So I'm only allowed to do, I believe, actually I think I can do 15 minutes on YouTube. So I may have time actually, I thought it was only 10 minutes, but then you fold again on this side. And you start at the corner. And then you go like this, right there. And let's see, open it up. And then you fold in this diagonal. And if you ever are wondering why people do this, it just makes all the other folds that you will see later a whole but a lot easier. Okay, so now you take this. You take this top corner. And you see this fold right there. You go take from this corner right there. Fold, just do a beginning fold, so it's pointing there, and then you angle it to about, I'm going to do about, actually no, see this, fold it the point, I always start by the point because that's what you're supposed to have, so it's actually a star, and I'll go about to there, and then you fold that down like this. And then now from here, you take this. Okay, so now you go from here. You fold it over at the tip. You form that basic tip you want so it looks very pointed. And you take it, let's see. And you fold it there. Now we flip it over. You take this flap. Fold it down. Crease it well. Then you flip it over. Unfold the crease and fold it back. Then open it up. 
And now what we do now is take this crease with that. We, this is the same crease as earlier that we just made. You fold it in. Once you folded it in, you fold it down. And now you have the basic shape. So now it looks basic, uh, the basic star. Right now it's just a triangle. Okay, now we have to fold it into three separate pieces. So now that it will form a triangle in the center. So now we go fold it in. Or right, let's see this. Let's see how far we need to go to get it to the corner. Fold from the corner to the center. Actually right there. And we go from there to, to that point where it touches right there. Oh. Hold it down tight. Flatten it. Then you do the same with this side. Hold it down tight. Flatten. And then you finally do the same with this. Hold it down. Flatten it. And you should have a triangle. You open up the triangle. And I got this. So now you fold it down. And now you fold it to a third. Like there. And you get that. Then you take this part. Fold it in. Fold it back. And do the same thing there. And let's see. That's good. It's about the same. And then you take the, the same thing with the last piece. And now you got your basic shape. Now you're pretty much almost done. You take Now you take this, fold in, fold in there. And it should eventually, in the end, it'll look like that. A basic one. So now let me show you how to put it together so it locks together. Fold that down and you fold that down. And now you fold this under this. And then this over that. And then this. Let's see this. And you fold over. And there you go. It's locked together. If you would like, you can also, from this point, since look, it doesn't look even. This part's too short. You can then proceed to extending it just a bit. So it looks like it's actually touching and it's an equal triangle. That looks pretty good, and then let's see this point. Does that look even now? And now you can extend that a bit. You can extend, but you can't really fold it back well. So that's why it's like the old saying: measure cut once, cut twice. Measure twice, cut once. Sorry, that'd be bad if you cut twice, measured once. Okay, and you got your star of David. Three points and three points, and you can size it again because right now it's not proportionate to this and it looks like small points. But you got your Star of David. And it looks like I won't have enough time to show you the next one, but there will be a part two. So see you in a few minutes. I'm going to tell you to um, comment, rate, subscribe, and like me. Um, and remember, the more you like and comment and subscribe, that just helps me out. And then eventually, me helping, once you help me, you also help you because then I can get um, I can contact companies and get things to review. So see you guys signing out. Bye.